And now to the latest on that condo building in Miami Gardens that burned down two weeks ago. Tonight, the city held its first meeting since the devastating fire. And since residents told us the building, including its fire alarm system, was not up to code. CBS 4's Joe Gorcho was at the meeting tonight with a myriad of questions for the mayor and the city manager. And Joe, what happened? Well, Elliot, since that massive fire, we've requested numerous times to speak with Miami Gardens Mayor Rodney Harris. It's why we came here tonight in hopes of asking him a series of questions. And after the meeting, I was told by one of his representatives we'd be able to talk with him. But he left here without answering any of our questions. We still got some unfinished business and they're still going to need some help. Miami Gardens Mayor Rodney Harris praises the city's response following the fire to help those suffering. And show not only Miami-Dade County and the rest of Miami how things should be done. Some of the more than 100 displaced residents remain in shelters, receiving assistance and donations to have the bare necessities. While awaiting more help, questions loom large, like the cloud of smoke hovering over New World condo apartments more than 10 days ago. Learning the fire alarm system wasn't working ahead of the fire. I'm not sure that's got to be concerning to you as to why nobody was able to address this in time. It definitely is alarming for us, and we are working together as a city, as a city council, as a city administration to make sure that things like this don't happen in the future. Councilwoman Linda Julian does take the time to share insight on the city's potential next step. Still unanswered questions remain. Did the city know the building was uninsured, not up to code, and failing its 40-year recertification? As we press to learn more, we find out Julian spearheaded an initiative to provide financial relief to unit owners that suffered substantial losses. I thought that it was only right to sponsor a resolution so that our state legislators will look into providing them uh, property tax relief. And that resolution did pass here tonight, so the next step would be for state lawmakers to pass some sort of property tax relief for those displaced by the fire. So perhaps a bit of good news coming along later this week for some residents here. But for many, lingering questions remain, including could the city have done more sooner to make sure the building was safer? Joe Gorcho, CBS4 News Tonight.